Mites, this is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. And today, Mites, we are going to be doing another texture pack tour. And as you can see, um, usually I would like go ahead doing it like not live, it's all recorded <laughs> already. Um, pretty much like in the video, I would do it, um, like itself. I would do the work myself in, in like in the video, and I'll have a whole setup or whatnot. But as you can see, Mites, for now, I have actually done a setup right there. We have diamond, emerald, gold, iron, all the ores. Pretty much, we have all the types of wood and its planks. We have all the blocks from the Nether, all the blocks in like the ocean landscapes. Then we have um t like um the brick and variants. We have the normal and variants of bricks of all like the special blocks basically I'm calling it because I'm not sure what to label them. We have um the purple, the quartz, the end and the nether bricks. Then we also do have quite a few colorations of um pretty much everything from glass all the way to terracotta, concrete and wool. We have the mushroom um mushroom theme blocks pretty much in the mushroom biomes. Then we also do have a little bit of stuff for minecarts, and I might put down like a minecart or a boat during the video. We have also all the swords, the bow, and the elytra, plus all the armor variants, a brewing stand, and we even have all of um, the special, well, not special, the, the blocks you would use mostly in like your daily life of Minecraft, pretty much. You would use um, the furnace, the crafting table, the chest, um, the jukebox, maybe the anvils, all the stuff you would use regularly. Um, and just to make sure, mice, I, I, I don't, I want you to discover stuff on your own, so I'm only giving you really the basic necessary stuff. Like, obviously, you're gonna want to upgrade your armor. Or obviously, you're gonna want to use colored um, different glass, perhaps, and lots Lots of different color wool. Um, depending on your building style, of course. Not everybody's gonna use all the colored stuff. But eventually, you're gonna find all the ores, and then you're probably gonna go to the Nether or underwater, and you're gonna use some of the different woods and etc. So this is basically just gonna give you like the breakdown of it. I don't know why I just put the brewing stand by itself. Um, I don't know. He's all alone. Um, let's see. I'll put a. Uh I don't really. Know. I can't really think of anything. Sorry. You know, what? I'll I'll put the brewing stand over there. You know what? There we go. And it also does have water. It also does have water. I don't want to give away all the potions and whatnot because I feel like, not that it's too much work, but I, I really just, and just letting you know, it's not because it's too much work. <laughs> Seriously, Mars, I'm not that lazy. It's just the fact that I want you guys to also get, like, discover and learning. Also, you're going to have water and lava, of course. Um, but I want you guys to look at the texture packs itself. You learn it. You look at the landscape because um, I was going to put down most of every single block. I could have done that, but obviously you're going to have a lot of dirt and stone and um, trees and whatnot. So it's not gonna be it's it's always it's pretty much gonna be obvious I just want to give you guys the necessary pretty much materialistic stuff So much without further ado we are gonna go into the texture pack right now Hello Mites, we are back, and as you can see, <laughs> everything has been changed dramatically. We are in the candy texture packs right now, and I actually think I actually did purchase this, because it's not like um, the one where it says any data won't save unless you purchase it, so apparently I purchased this a while ago. I um, can't remember really using it. I, I do have plans. Um, shh, don't tell anyone, it's gonna be in the future. Trust me, it's gonna be really nice. Um, uh, but once, as you can see, everything's been pretty much candyified. Uh, we have the diamond ore, um, the emerald, the gold, we have everything right here. This is quartz! <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous, boy. This is quartz! Look at this, it's like, it looks like that would be the snow, the snow block. Like, what, well, um, the, uh, that looks like it would be the snow glo golem block, really. Um, this is the quartz ore right there, which looks like, um, some kind of flower, it seems like. All the other ores seem to be, um, practically the exact same, especially with, um, well, redstone's um, emitting the uh, redstone particles right there for all the energy. Then we have, like, um, coal seems to be some sort of licorice. Um, redstone seems to be a red licorice, the black and red variants. Then we also have, um, what is that? That's iron from the gingerbread. Then we also do have what seems to be diamond and emerald. I don't even know what this is. Is it like that, um, candy stuff, Mike? What's it called? What's it called? It's, uh, ah, oh, man, I can't, I can't think. Um, the pop rocks, maybe? It, maybe it's like pop rocks. I think that's what it's called. And this seems to be, lapis seems to be really close to those, but it's just not really shining and emitting particles. Gold seems to be like some sort of maybe honeycomb kind of thing. Um, 
But um, uh, nonetheless, I have to say, um, I do like Lapis. The quartz looks <laughs> very ridiculous. I do love the way how the licorice looks. It looks very, very nice. So I would encourage you to uh, maybe build some really cool designs out of some of those blocks because if you get enough of it, like coal is really common, Lapis, not that common, but it does drop a lot, including redstone itself. So, yeah, maybe you can do something, um, iron and gold to a lesser degree, but, hey, Marks, you know what? You do you, I do me. Plus, you can just build a creative. <laughs> All right, now onto the woods. So, the woods pretty much look the exact same, a little bit, like, different color variations, like, spruce isn't that dark, obviously, and which one is this again? This is, um, um, acacia. Acacia is not this yellow. It's usually, like, an orange kind uh, this seems to be a little bit pinkish red. This is dark oak, which is usually really, really dark brown, um, like to this, but that's usually sp um, spruce. So as you can see, um, everything's been uh, pretty much like gingerbreadified-ish. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of candy that much, actually. I'm only a big fan of certain candies, and I don't want to get copyrighted, if that's actually a thing. Can you get copyrighted from candy? I have no idea. But it does look really cool. I especially like um, the way how these three look. Like, this, like, um, this looks like, um, custard. No, 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 this one looks like custard, actually. Like, um, it's a tree full of custard. That looks amazing right there. All right, so on to the next section. We have the watery blocks, um, well, the water theme blocks and the nether blocks, pretty much, that, the fiery type. So this is netherrack, which it actually looks like, um, it looks like, um, like some sort of peanut butter crunchy thing. Like, just, like, bite the nether, like, <sighs> that looks so... Mario, right, this just, I think this, if you have a candy obsession... This is the texture pack for you, really. If you love candy, just get this one. <laughs> Looks like you can eat everything, pretty much. Alright, we also do have what seems to be some sort of... I think I can see pretzel. Is that like the chocolate-coated pretzel, I think that is? We also have eggs. Or candy eggs. I know they make candy food, but i never seen a candy egg before. This looks like some sort of sugar honeycomb block thingy. Um, and it does have the effect still. It, oh, well, that kind of makes sense, because chocolate, if it's melted, I guess it would maybe slow you down a bit overall. It's, um, it's really nice, the nether, although I can't really think of anything being on fire. Um, the watery blocks, it looks, um, right here, I think this is, um, the, um, prismarine itself, like the regular one you would usually get. It looks very similar to the, um, to the diamond, emerald, and lapis, of course. And it does, it's more pink, though. It's not blue anymore. The variants are now pink. We also have um the brick and the um the block and uh the dark prismarine and uh, what's the other one? What's the other one I put down? Um, let me see. It's gotta be here somewhere. Um, prismarine brick, dark prismarine, prismarine sea lantern, sea lantern. All right, there we go. Wait, is this block the sea lantern? I think it might be the last one. Oh wait. Uh, let me see. Sea lantern. Oh, all right. So that's the sea lantern. All right. That's a little odd considering. These are four blocks, and you think it would be like one of these. This one I am a big fan of uh, itself. The prismarine, I think this is the brick, right? Uh, no, this is dark prismarine. Not really dark when it's pink like this. Uh, but uh, still, much. I have to say, it looks, it looks amazing. It looks like a shiny new ore block, actually, in regular Minecraft. All right, now we're on to the different variants. Um, we have the nether brick and the red nether brick, which looks <laughs> crazy. I can't imagine a castle being made out of this. It looks like a bunch of jelly beans glued together. Um, we also do have um, the um, the end stone and the end stone brick. Um, this this looks like white chocolate. This looks like regular chocolate itself. Then we also do have the purple blocks right there. And this, it's so hard to remember every single one, Marts. It really is. Uh, this is the, okay, um, quartz, this is quartz, alright, wait, what's that? End stone, alright, so now we have the quartz, which, um, the flower design is the same as the ore over there, Marge, as you remember, right there, so that's a little nice design touch, I do like, the, um, the, um, this one, what's this quartz called? I'm not used to building out of all the variants of quartz, usually, this is chisel, chisel quartz right there. See, Mox, even though I played Minecraft for a while, I do forget stuff. I don't have the best memory in the world, um, as you can see. But I do love this one. I do love the chisel quartz, especially the way how it looks like a pillar, even though it's not the pillar quartz, which is kind of ironic. Then the purple blocks look amazing. They look like, they look like maybe not jawbreakers, although I guess you could say a jawbreaker in Minecraft would be square since there's no circles technically. Kind of, it, it's hard to explain. But um, anyways, Mox, as you can see, I, I, out of these, I have to say, I like the, I like um the endstone bricks the best, and then following up would be the purple blocks. I really do love it. Now, right here, we have terracotta, and we have all of its variants right there. Kind of reminds me of 
pretzels. Maybe it also like the little grains of salt. Maybe, although, <laughs> it just, uh, this kind of looks like pretzel, these two. Um, maybe this one if you want to include it, but I think these two look more like pretzel, especially this one right here. This is probably like burnt or toasted pretzel, right there. But, um, look at this mod. It's so weird just to see if this is pretzel, which I really do doubt. But if it is, just look at that. That would be so weird. That would probably be like, I don't even know how to describe it. Then we also do have, which looks like a bunch of like berries and cherries and stuff like that sort of i'm just gonna say it just because i can't really think of anything maybe like small jawbreakers oh okay so the white variant is um white chocolate again okay i guess that's okay um uh, oh and we have and we have um regular chocolate regular chocolate we don't have um well i guess dark chocolate isn't really black it's still brown just a darker shade so, um, alright, but I have to say this looks amazing, Mike, because I do, I do like some chocolates, especially with caramel. Oh, dear. That is so delicious, Mike. I don't know what to tell you. It's just so amazing caramel, especially in chocolate. Um, especially when it's melted. Oh, man, I'm just thinking about it. I'm making myself a little hungry right now, but fortunately, I'm on a diet, so... Ugh, damn. But, um, white chocolate, I really do love it, too. I really do love it, especially the Hershey's ones. Right here, this... Is this pretzels or is this something else? Is this like churros? I'm not really sure what this is. Um, or maybe it's um, maybe it's Twizzlers or maybe perhaps. Uh, maybe it's licorice. I I can't really say. It does look like you can kind of walk through it. Although no, this is actually glass. Although it doesn't look very um sturdy, honestly. Now we're on to these blocks right here, which are the mushroom blocks. Um, to keep moving on, we have um, the red mushroom, the brown, um, this is the stem and uh, the block all around it. So this kind of looks like snow, honestly. I actually do like this. This looks like um, snow once again, which is what, like a pink background. And this looks like gingerbread. Like It looks like a block of gingerbread covered in um, the cream, the frosting. That's <laughs> oh man, I don't think anybody's good at that. Oh boy, it's right here. What's this called? Oh, man, I'm not a big fan of it. It's like the sour candy, the strips, sour candy strips. The minecart tracks look amazing like that. I very much do love that. Let's actually see what the, the car looks like. Oh, that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I do love it. I don't know what how it looks. Maybe it's like um a cone for cotton candy or a bowl or something like that. I don't know how you would want to put it. But um, next, we have the armor in man. Actually, before we do that, let's actually look at the boat real quick, too. Let's just look at the boat. Oh, look at that. It's actually pretty cool. I have to say, I actually like it. It's got um candy cane um shovels right there, too. I mean, I'm going to get out. It's kind of hard to um use a boat when you're on land and not water. I do like the inside of it, too. It looks like a very shiny um kind of green as well. Next, we have the armors. Now, we have leather, which is now into a gingerbread with a gingerbread chocolate sword right there, especially. Next, we have... Um, chainmail, which is, I don't know what this is, a bunch of, it's uh, like, um, it's like that, like a little bit of glued jelly beans, perhaps, maybe, I can't really tell you what the sword would be, maybe like candy crystal or something, next we have, um, iron, which is now actually a gingerbread, I think this is more chocolate than gingerbread, but I think this would be also gingerbread as well, like the normal kind, with a gingerbread sword, it doesn't look tough, but trust me, watch that is. Gold and diamond are very crystal candy-like, Um, it seems like, with a crystal and diamond candy sword. Very, very nice. I especially do love the, the diamond and um, gold variants of this. The iron's really cool, too. And next, we have a um, nice blue blow with um, a pink string. That's pretty nice. It's probably Twizzlers, if it can stretch that far. And uh, Elytra, we can all forget, is made of candy chocolate pretzels, I think that is. I'm pretty sure it's chocolate pretzels. Now, here we are with the second, uh, with the, well, the last few blocks. We have a chest right there. Very nice. Um, we have the ender chest. Both look like, um, this actually mo looks more like a cake, probably. Like a chocolate fudge cake with a giant cherry. This looks like pure gingerbread right there. Um, then we also have the crafting table, with, which is an, um, what would this actually be? I think this is like a desk, like, um, not desktop counter. <laughs> um, looks like a countertop. Then we have an actual oven for the furnace, which is pretty cool. Then we have, ooh, I actually do love the enchantment table. Like, the obsidian has turned to this. Um, the enchantment table looks very nice, blue and purple, with a little bit of dark purple and pink. Then we have the beacon, which is sort of like the glass over there, made of, like, these strips of, um, churros, I'm just gonna say. Very nice. We also do have some of the um, ingots and um, ores right there. We have um, gold, iron. The, go the iron actually looks really cool. The gold looks like a gold coin. 
Then we have the end portal frame right there. Looks like another cake, just like the other chest. Then we have the jukebox, the note blocks, the anvil, which looks like pure gingerbread. Uh, more gingerbread. Gingerbread is all over this place, isn't it? <laughs> um, for the cauldron, although it might leak out, so be careful. We have the shulker box right there. Very nice. It lost some of its edges, but it looks really smooth and futuristic now. And, of course, we have the brewing stand. And the potions are apparently bottles. Actual bottles now, like plastic bottles. So that's a little that's a little different. And finally, to finish this off, we have water right there, which is um a little... Which is pretty normal water, in a sense. Maybe, like... You throw in some food coloring in there. Looks a little different. And we have lava, which... Ah, it burns! Not really. <laughs> With fun creative, I am fine. Although, it, it is a little warm. So, I'm just going to get out of there. There we go. Wait. Oh. Okay. So, make sure the flames weren't purple. Because I did see orange. Although, it, it looks like nougat. Maybe nougat? Um, hard to tell. I can't really think of anything else what this could possibly be. I'm not... I don't know water candy. Uh, watery candies. But it... Maybe jelly? I guess you could say maybe I'm not really sure but um here we go mites now that is pretty much all of it so if you're a big fan of this I think you're really gonna get it kick out all of the other blocks during the um, texture pack tour pretty much and um, your own texture pack I did buy this there is actually I think something on the Xbox store where you can buy a few of them for like a decent price I'm pretty sure that's how I got this texture pack up like this but overall mites have to say I'm a big fan don't forget, gonna use this for a future project, don't tell anyone, it would be very, very appreciated. But if you do, just um, make sure to tell them to subscribe and like, I would very much appreciate that. But mites, here we go, now we're gonna go on to the next texture pack, right now. Hello mites, we are back, and as you can see, now we are using the cartoon texture pack. One I have actually only seen in a couple of Stampy slash Iballistic Squid videos, never really tried it out myself, it did look pretty funny for some of the stuff, but as you can see, um, one thing I want to point out, the sun looks amazing, I love the fact how the sun has like the, the flares and the fire, and the fiery essence shooting off like that, like permanently, it looks very cool, sort of like real life kind of when it does shoot off but here we go now to start we have all the ores which the blocks unlike most texture packs actually do look the same actually which um, i have to say um it is kind of cool to see other blocks not look the same even though they're pretty much all ore but i do love sometimes how they all look the same like this but my as you can see it's pretty much the exact same it's basically like a different variation color the only one that changes is redstone when it gets a little lighter when you step on it the particles look pretty funny too then we have quartz which is basically a different outline of red but kind of looks like iron just more um white than gray um and all of them are pretty much the same block um Cold a little bit more darker than the rest, but I have to say it all looks very nice. I dig I do I do like it. I do like it. It's very nice. Now we have um pretty much um oak right there and um birch, spruce, all of the woods right there. The um acacia looks a little ridiculous if you ask me. It's a very, very dark. It's more more this is black, this is like a dark brown. This is more the acacia is more dark. Than the actual dark oak. I mean, it is kind of, it's supposed to be gray, but although it does show black, and this shows a little bit of black or dark brown. It depends how you see it, I guess. But um, I do like the fact how it looks super orange in the middle. The birch and the spruce and the oak all look the same, but um, this is jungle. Yeah, this is jungle moss. It turned from regular brown to yellowish gold, so that's pretty nice. I have to say, that's a little, that's a little nice change. I do um, really like that. Next, we are on to the nether and water blocks once again. We have netherrack, we have soul sand, which, um, it looks not as terrifying, honestly. It looks more goofy than terrifying, except for that. That, that one's still crying. Kind of creepy. Um, then we have, um, glowstone right there, which actually does look like, um, amber in a sense maybe it does look very nice like a bunch of stones put together then we also do have the magma block right there very nice then we have um oh sorry um no it's a little stuffy for some reason then we have um the prismarine lantern then we have the prismarine block the dark one which doesn't look dark at all and we have the brick which is very very nice next we have the special blocks now let's see, so nether brick and um, red nether brick, this is red, this is not nether brick, I mean, maybe if it was a little grayer or black or darker gray, I would appreciate it more, just doesn't look much like a nether one, although the candy one, <laughs> seriously, he was made out of jelly beans last time, what are you gonna do? Um, do like the red one especially, the gray one, um, no, it's, it's nice, it's nice. It nice. <laughs> All right. Next one to the um the end ones, which um we have endstone right there. Looks pretty cool actually. Kind of looks like quartz. 
Although it is white. It is, it's like a whitish yellow, if you want to say that. And we do have the brick, which looks standard, but very nice as well. Same shade. Then we have the purper block right there, which, um, you think this would be the purper. It's a little purple, like, really, really light purple. But nope, this is actually the purper. If you want to confirm it, yep, there you go. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got, like, a little Mickey Mouse glove hand. I guess that kind of goes in with cartoon. And we also do have quartz, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a white. It's a white with, um, a little bit of purple if you squint at it. But you'd think this would be more, you think they would kind of switch, although quartz would probably fit this better. Maybe if this was brown, but um, it looks like wood. Seriously, Mark, they switch from purple to wood. Seriously, well, it's actually not wood. It's cardboard. It's cardboard because of the tape. Ah, man, that's like a. This is like pure cardboard boxes. That'd be cool if you did like a little role play, maybe. Um, then you have terracotta, which looks very different. Then you have all the variations of terracotta and wool, um, concrete and glass. The glass and the wool, I do like a lot, especially the wool. How it's all, like all stitched together like that. Sort of like a cartoon character, maybe from like the Mickey Mouse era with stitched clothing in some cases. Like overalls, that would be pretty nice. Overall, I have to say, do love it, especially the glass and the wool. Next we have Mushroom, which this <laughs> looks like a Mario Mushroom. Uh, just like um, all, just like it regularly does, pretty much. This looks, it went from brown to purple. Now it looks very, really like squishy and old. Eh, kind of gross. Uh, then we have the regular mushroom, and well, we have the stem and the mushroom block all around. There we go. And next we have the tracks, which are uh, more or less look the same. Just um, the wood, um, the color of the wood looks a little different, and maybe like um, the railing. But other than that, I have to say, very big fan. It looks very nice, very standard, but very nice nonetheless. Now, <laughs> the armors, which I did love from Snappy and I've listed Squid's videos, basically. Um. I don't think I'll leave a link, honestly, because I'm not sure if that's really my place to say it. It was from their Quest series, where they eventually switch over to this texture pack. It was very, very funny, and I did love watching those videos. Right here, we have Leather Armor, which looks like <laughs> Freddy Fazbear with a with a weird Snuggle one tooth thing. I think that's what it's called, Snuggle Tooth? I don't know why they call it that. Um, with, like, a bear character with a <laughs> chicken sword. Uh, I got to see this. I have to grab all the swords real quick. I just got to do it. Look at this, Mars. You just got just gonna eat it raw like this. This is the weirdest thing ever. Seriously, look at this. It is it is so weird. I can't imagine you fighting off someone with this or blocking their hits. That'd be so weird. Next we have a crocodile or alligator. Don't know the difference. Um, really honestly, we have an orange fish right there. One of my favorite swords, the stone one. I have to say, I love the fish one. Um, right here we have Ainama, which is a cow, um, reverse cow, instead of white and with black, instead of black with white spots, like regular Minecraft, you have white with black spots, so a little bit of a change, really nice. Then we have a parrot, <laughs> oh dear, wow, I don't know, I don't know why, this is kind of ironic, you think you would be able to put it on your shoulder or something like that, but nope, you actually can't. Next we have a snake, probably the most deadly sword out of all, probably, if you got, well, I mean, I can't really see any teeth. All I see is it, it's this long tongue. Maybe like a grappling hook kind of thing. Like, grappling hook away. <laughs> oh, man. And and next, we have the gold with um the gold sword right there. So not very effective, unfortunately. Um, Although, it it's a giant chicken. Instead of white chicken, though, it's a yellow one. Um, just like just like this one you think it would go pair and pair, but it doesn't unfortunately and next probably my favorite besides um Probably my favorite out of the swords. We have the diamond sword Which is with the penguin um right there penguins are actually one of my favorite animals of all time They used to be especially when I grew up. I don't know why they just look so adorable it's so fluffy <laughs> and I had like a, a Little penguin plush too. I I might have it still. I really have no idea it might be in storage or something like that I have to say I do love the diamond armor very very nice it has like the giant bill slash beak whatever you want to say the diamond sword is actually a sword fish so besides the snake probably the most effective out of all the fish it looks very very nice <laughs> look at that it just looks so cool i don't know why maybe just with like the eye or the way how it's so small but i don't know why it's just like some these swords even as ridiculous ridiculous as they look they look very nice in my opinion Next, we have, um, next, removing all of that really quick, we have the chest, which looks very nice, the end of chest, which looks, instead of, like, purple, black, obsidian, we go into a green, although it does have the ender eye right there, so that's a little different. Next, we have the crafting table, more or less the same, just more cartoony with, like, the saw and, uh, the plastic scissors, it seems like. Next, we have the furnace, which is, uh, more or less the same, a lot more rocky, I guess. 
Next, we have the enchantment table right there. A little a blue plain book. Nice, very nice. Rectangle, blue. It's got it all. Mwah. It's got it all. Perfect. Next, we have the beacon, which looks like a giant, like, um, light bulb, pretty much, actually, inside of, like, the cartoony glass right there. We have the emerald, which well, actually looks a little more realistic, um, honestly, if I'm being honest with the shape. A lot Fun fact, emeralds don't usually look so pointy in real life. That's more like a turquoise or diamond-esque shape, I guess. This looks more like a real diamond, too. But, you know what? I'm not, I don't care. I love Minecraft. And no matter what shape or form it is, even if it looks as ridiculous as the armor <laughs> and the swords. Oh, wait, 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 of course, of course, how could I forget, Mods? I'm so sorry, we forgot the bow, which actually looks really cool. It looks like redstone iron, sort of. Maybe that's like quartz. I think it's more iron, though, with the gray. Looks very nice, I'd say. Love the sword, and I love the weaponry in the game, in the texture pack. It looks very nice. Um, looks like dragon wings. Um, the elytra, so that's pretty cool. Green dragon wings. All right, let's go back to the original order of things. Next, we have the emperor frame. Very standard, very normal looking. Um, we have the jukebox, which actually does look very cartoony. Very nice, very nice. I do love it. Um, next, we have the anvil. Very standard. Has the giant hammer, although it's more wood. Um, or was it wood before? I never really paid attention to that, really. I think it was more like um, metal hammer, actually. But uh, a little nice change. All the details you have to pay attention to. Um, very nice shade of blue. Next, we have the cauldron. Another great shade of blue. Looks very standard same. I um, think the bottle might have changed a little bit. But I think it might have actually just stayed the same. Maybe a couple pixels off. Next, we have the shulker box right there. Kind of looks like uh, the cardboard box all the way right here for the purple blocks. But uh, um, different variants. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, let's take a look at the brown one or the orange one and yellow because that's like the closest shade of brown like right there See like these look the orange looks like more like a standard um, Cardboard box you usually buy the brown one doesn't and the yellow one Maybe I think I'm the closest to real life cardboard box would probably be the orange one It even has the little arrow and the tape. That's some that's some good detail right there Finally, we have the brewing stand right there with the, the potion bottles, well, the water bottles, but the potion actual bottle looks sort of similar. It looks very witchy, if you want to say like that, but actually, it looks a little more sleeker, too, like on the side. It's like, um, like a, a flask in a laboratory, in a sense. It looks very nice, and it looks like it's filled up with honey on the outside or orange juice. I guess, which is a little weird, but okay, we'll go with it. And finally, finally, we have, because before I said finally, 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 we have water, which looks like standardized water with ripples in the in the effect, in the, um, like, on the texture, so very nice. And now we have actual bubbling lava, which is more like magma since it's bubbling like this. But overall, my there you go. That's all the, well, not all the texture packs, <laughs> obviously, we only did two. But there you go, mice. We have the candy texture pack, and we have the cartoon texture pack there we go mice and i have to say i love them i love both of them they were very very nice not i wouldn't permanently change my world honestly to something like this or something like that because i just love regular minecraft i do love the way it looks and the way it's set up but don't get me wrong it is amazing gg the 4j gg the mojang minecraft all the people who made these i bet it would have took a long long time to do something like this but now mites, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. And yes, mites, I will see you all later. Later, guys.